nowhere in the world has ever captured our hearts before quite like Bergen in Norway. From its idyllic fjords to the fascinating history and heritage, there's something very special about this place. Whether exploring the old town or riding the funicular to the top of its surrounding mountains, it's absolutely stunning. Never have we felt so at home and happy in a city the way we do here. Look at this around us, we are so, so lucky to be doing this, aren't we? Sailing the fjords was a dream come true, with beautiful scenery, waterfalls and colourful cabins. And exploring the maze of centuries-old wooden buildings took us on a unique journey back through time. And we absolutely fell in love with Bergen. As if Bergen itself wasn't already incredible enough, our journey to get there was truly astonishing. We made our way to the city from Oslo on what has to be the most scenic railway journey in the whole of Europe. The Bergensbahnen or Bergen Line train route from the east to the west coast takes you through spectacular nature, rattling past forests, lakes and imposing mountains. From the moment we pulled out of the Norwegian capital, we were left mesmerised by the views from our window as we watched the sunrise. Our journey was also made even more unique by a bit of an issue with the train. Woohoo! So we are travelling on the Oslo to Bergen train and we've just stopped at a station called Hernefoss and half the train has had to get off because there are no working toilets on the half of the train. So we're now having to do toilet breaks at every other station or so along the route. Um, so yeah, so far the journey has been absolutely stunning but kind of ridiculous because they changed the train in the first place um, so there's no cafe on board and then we got on board and both toilets in our section of the train are broken so there is now huge crowds of people inside the station queuing to go to toilet um, we've just been and we're going to get back on the train now but it's going to be a fair wait because uh, people are going to toilet the Bergen line has been running for more than 110 years since it was first built in 1909 and it boasts the title of being Northern Europe's highest railway line at certain points along the way, you're more than 1,237 metres above sea level. Taking this journey in winter adds another magical element with the thick Wonderland snow. We pass through more wonderful scenery, imagining what it must be like to live in these remote cabins in the Norwegian countryside, surrounded by mountain after mountain and forest after forest. The lack of toilets on board actually added an extra layer of fun to the day because stopping for longer meant we were able to get off and enjoy some of the stations along the way, such as here in the small rural town of Gol. And then once more when we arrived at the next station called Al for yet another toilet pit stop. Visibility started to drop as the weather turned and heavy snow fell again, burying cabins even deeper than before. But it did make for quite the whirlwind stop off at Murdo, as you can see. People were struggling in the almost blizzard-like conditions on the platform. We finally arrived late into the evening and had a feed up in preparation for another epic adventure that awaited us the next day.
The following morning we rose early to get our first real taste of the Bergen area by heading straight out onto the seas for a fjord cruise on a catamaran. The fjord cruise has begun! Whoa! This is definitely one of the most special things you can do in Bergen and we will show you just why. The Mostraman Fjord Cruise sets sail from Bergen's inner harbour and then heads along the scenic Osterfjord and Mostraman Channel. Gliding along the water of Norway's dramatic west coast and enjoying this incredible landscape gave us an overwhelming feeling of happiness. We were able to enjoy both the scenery and the cute little huts, cabins and settlements of the Nord Hordland region. Sometimes, I don't think much even needs to be said, because the remarkable nature of this place does all the talking for itself. Just look at how mesmerising it is. We were most certainly stunned into silence in the best way possible for much of this trip. As we continued to sail through beautiful fjords towards the dramatic Mostrama Channel, we were met by more and more and more gigantic waterfalls. Not to mention the stunning snow-capped mountains. The sound of the water cascading down the cliff face was absolutely astonishing. Seeing both the sheer power and unique charm of nature at its purest is always such a warming feeling, even in the freezing cold weather. soon time to turn around and make our way back along the deep fjords through a maze of islands and return to Bergen. Going back was particularly enjoyable to capture so many stunning sights you could easily miss the first time around. There's just so much to see and look at, you could probably do this fjord cruise ten times over and never get bored. It's just so beautiful.
views of Bergen as you drift back to land aren't too bad either. So we just arrived back from the fjord crew. Um, we've actually got our first sighting of Bergen in daylight because we arrived late last night, came straight on this in the morning and it was still dark when we got here. So we've been treated to the most amazing fjord cruise ever. And now this is our view when we come back. We've arrived to this. We're absolutely pumped with excitement and New Year's Eve tonight. We headed out for dinner by the harbour and then went on a walk to find a bar we liked the look of. But on the way we discovered Brigan, which is Bergen's old Hanseatic wharf full of wooden buildings. Brigan dates back to the 14th, 15th and 16th centuries and is what remains of the Hanseatic League's trading empire. Is there any one thing to do? <laughs> Several fires have ripped through and destroyed its wooden houses since then, but they've always been rebuilt traditionally, leaving the area looking as close to the same as it was before. So, we've come to look for a bar, um, and I think we've come the wrong way, but inadvertently we found this absolutely beautiful street, all built of wood, very quiet, everything's shut off, and it started snowing. It's like, it's like a Christmas miracle in time for New Year but it's absolutely beautiful here. Look at it. And uh, I don't know where this bar is, but we're gonna go and try and find it now. But it was very, very nice that we accidentally came and found this. Um, yeah, wow, what a beautiful place. Especially at night with all the lights. A total of 62 buildings of the former townscape still remain today and are being put to good use. These are all art studios. This is such a big art community, I didn't even know. Stunning though, isn't it? Before we knew it, the time was fast approaching midnight. The street suddenly went from being very quiet to absolutely packed and fireworks were going off all around the city. We're celebrating in Bergen and it's the city of fireworks. It's so epic! Here, and there's fireworks just going on everywhere. The sparklers are on the go behind us. And now look, there's fireworks going off everywhere you turn. Look at it. Absolutely amazing. Fireworks going off everywhere. It's not even New Year yet. <laughs> We're going to enjoy the New Year. struck 12, crowds celebrated wildly and the boats in the harbour all sounded their horns and of course more fireworks filled the sky. The celebrations went on and on and on for about 15 minutes. So, quarter past midnight and fireworks are still going off everywhere around us. <laughs> Absolutely crazy, look there's just like hordes of people everywhere. Fireworks going off around. The fireworks are genuinely still going off, and they've been going off for like half an hour. Oh, there goes another one. <laughs> I don't even know where they're going off now, but they are going off. It's safe to say Bergen certainly knows how to celebrate the New Year. New Year's Day in Bergen and we're walking to get on the funicular lift, the uh, Floyban, and I'm probably completely butchering the pronunciation of that. It's very quiet in town today, after a very lively New Year's Eve. Um, so yeah, we're just gonna take a nice leisurely stroll around the city before we head to the farm this afternoon, which we're really looking forward to. So yeah, up to the funicular lift very soon. The 
Floyd Barnum Funicular lies in the heart of Bergen city centre and takes a little more than five minutes to ride up to the top of Mount Floyd. As you climb higher, spectacular views over the city begin to appear, showing how Bergen is surrounded by beautiful mountains. The Floyd Funicular's two carriages have carried people up and down the 320 metre peak for more than 100 years. Nowadays, the return trip costs 130 Norwegian kroner in winter, or about £10. When you walk out the station door, you quickly see why it's worth the very short journey. To the top of the Floyd and Funicular. Wow, you are treated with some absolutely amazing views once you get up here. Absolutely beautiful day today. Perfect blue skies and the sunrise is amazing. You can see the city in all its glory very clearly today, no mist whatsoever. There's even a bit of snow up here on the ground which makes it look even nicer. The fjords and the mountains behind us, absolutely beautiful. Wow, glorious, glorious. Just look at it. We also enjoyed a pleasant surprise when we realised that goats lived on top of the mountain and they're known as the Floyan goats. A short walk along the mountaintop brings you to where the goats live, surrounded by stunning trees and forested areas. Any goats in there? The goats chomped away on the Christmas trees and they are so tame, they certainly didn't mind being shown some love. They're so cute. Here you one. You're really cute, aren't you? Marnie, are you enjoying streaking the goats? No. Christmas little haven for them. It was a perfect way to end our stay in Bergen. Then it was time to jump on the funicular again to head back down the mountain. We just had time to explore the fascinating Brigham, including its stunning colourful buildings one last time. tracks to our next stop off, a stunning rural farm stay.